Hello there, everybody. This is Ostini. Welcome back to OP Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin Edition. Remember that. Because you will probably see some shit in here that um, does not quite make sense if you're just used to the regular Dark Souls 2. Oh, yeah. I remember this. I remember. This thing's actually pretty helpful, from what I remember. Hold on. Let's see if I can read it to um, remind myself of a clue about it. Friend! Don't you dare. I'm trying to remember what you do. Cause, because this does! do, um, this does do something very beneficial for you, but I can't remember what. And that's the thing, is this guy won't attack you. So, I mean, like, he's fine. Oh, God. What the hell was that? Have to check that later. Poison moss. But, yeah, I mean... I wish there were more, um, randomable things like this. Things that made you really question if you had to kill them or not. I think that that's... I think that's somewhat missing from, uh, Dark Souls games. I mean, I got through a pretty decent portion of 3, so I... I don't recall ever seeing an NPC like that, although I may have killed it on accident, but... I think it's time to see what lies beyond the mist. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we've been wanting to get to since we set foot in this dark, dark abyss of dark. And what is this place, you may ask? Well, this is the place where we finally go all the way down. That's right. So now we actually will be able to start descending this place a pretty good bit. Let's see. But the question is, which way do we go? And that's what I'm going to attempt to find. Let's see. Trap ahead. Okay. Death ahead, not short here. Well, this one doesn't say it's bad, so I'm gonna trust you. Bitch, the fuck off me. Okay. Oh, I didn't even roll, but I still got it. Still got it. I'm fine. Got him. Yeah, go ahead. Come on down. Come on down. Ish. Good thing about this is that um, all these um, lights that you've lit, they should um, carry over. Like, even if you um, rest at a bonfire, they should still be lit whenever you come back. If you ever decide to explore this area. And there are a few reasons to do that. There are a few big, big treasures hidden in this area. If, uh, if my memory serves me correctly. Which I'm pretty sure it does. Pretty sure. Let's see. Poison throwing knife. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. A life gem? Okay. What if we go up here? I'll probably use... Yeah, I'll probably use an Estus Flask. Because I am pretty sure... Ooh. There's a note in front of that treasure chest, and I'm already not liking the possibility of what it is. But, um, then again, I haven't run across one of these in my playthrough, um, so far, so... Okay, here we go. Quite something ahead, and then keep moving. Okay, good. 
great club. All right. I guess that's kind of kind of decent. All right, so let's keep it going. Oh god, that's right. Well, actually, I can negate this a little bit. There's a way that you can actually get past these. The reason why I don't want to touch them, um, in case you guys don't know, is because these things will degrade your equipment. And I know some of you may be thinking, well, Ostunity, what does that fucking matter? You can always um, rest at a bonfire. Yeah, but if you break your equipment, you're going to have to pay souls to repair it. So, we're going to use throwing items to break them. And we're good. And what's this? Fragrant branch of your. And another fucking thing in the motherfucking scene. Hidden path, then try backstepping? Um. So sometimes. Sometimes. Yep. It's that time, guys. These, uh. Time for these fuckers. This is the most aggravating shit ever. And you want to know what else is really aggravating as shit? Is the fact that I can't for the life of me remember to set the fucking terror! Oh, God. Okay, the Black Gulch. This... Not gonna lie. This is an area where you're either going to stock up on poison recovery... Or, you're going to stock up on life gems. Because there are so many. And I mean, so many little statues that are going to try and fucking poison you. And I know what a lot of you may think. Oh, why don't you just, why don't you just run? Why don't you just run? They come at you from every fucking conceivable angle. It's hard to even try to do that. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, you... I'm gonna go ahead and use the bonfire. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't do that quite yet. I'll do that off-camera, though. I'll burn that, uh, sublime bone dust off-camera. So, yeah. All right. Don't know if we're gonna make it to. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's here somewhere. I'm gonna let him come to me. Oh, I see him. I see him. Okay. Is he gonna get poisoned? Oh, he's actually doing a little bit of the work for me, I see. Whoa. He is on a tear. I think the poison may kill him. I... I may not have to do anything. I don't know why he's doing this. I'm gonna watch my, uh my uh, soul counter like pretty closely see if it goes up randomly cause that's a lot of shit that he just put himself through oh gosh okay so uh green moss and I'm gonna go ahead and actually put it on um my uh, hot bar so that whenever I need it I will be able to do it okay there we go poison moss okay this is something else too these fucking holes right here oh god you these fucking holes right here they have enemies in them and they will if they don't one hit kill you they will um, get pretty close a way that you can... Oh, Okay, okay, thank god. A way that you can um, actually avoid fighting them, though, is you can actually set these little puddles on fire. Or, you 
can fake them out like I did. And I think there's only one per. Oh god! Okay. So I think they choose which pool they spawn out of randomly. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good. Oh, I should have checked that first. That was a bad move of mine. Shottle and great magic weapon spell. Hell yeah, dude. I want that. I want the hell out of that. Come on, bitch. Bring it. Bring it! Alright, good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Bad timing, bad timing, bad timing. Drink it! Alright, now I'm ready to fight you, you little bitch. Uh oh. He matches my strength. He is a worthy opponent. Suck you, bitch. Alright, we got him. I think we get a reward for that, don't we? I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, human effigy. Good enough. But the game doesn't know exactly how to reward you for your hard work. Human effigy. Yeah, those guys are kind of pushovers. You can just kind of hang out around their base and you'll be fine. Who's this? Bashful Ray. Okay. I may take advantage of that. But over here is um, a little bit of an advantage that you guys might want to know about. So, I'm going to use my Estus Flask in here in a minute. You're going to see why. I'm going to make a mad dash. I know I said, usually you don't want to do that. But this time we're going to make an exception. We're going to make an exception. Here we go. Oh my god. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I forgot where it is. Fuck it. Go. Okay. Well, forget that. But along those walls, if you look closely enough, there's actually a hidden bonfire. So I'll probably try and get that whenever this episode is actually done and I defeat the second of the big four. Let's see. I forgot what this guy's name is. I do remember that he is fairly unremarkable, though. Creepy. Oh, God! You're just made out of corpses, the rotten. That's right. Okay, I may have, uh, I may have underestimated you, at least as far as armor goes, but, I bet, 
I can find a weakness. Okay. Maybe. Ah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to. Oh god. Ooh. Oh, damn it. Oh, in the middle of a fucking Astro Flask. Shit. All right. So here's what I'm going to do for right now. I'm going to go to said secret um, bonfire, or I'm going to get close to it. And then I'm going to come back, so it'll be just a second for you guys, so be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and I actually have two helpers with me. I have Bashful Ray and Lone Hunter Schmidt. So this ought to be a little bit easier. Uh-oh. Oh. My god. Oh shit, there it is. I think. Oh no. That's not it. Oh jeez, this is chaotic as shit. I love it. Come on, Bashful Ray, we can do this. Okay, we got one of them. Come on, Bashful Ray, we can do it. We did it. I oh, even healed himself. Okay, so we're gonna look around for that little area that I was mentioning. There we go. It's like way off over here on the side. So if you... Oh yeah. Fragrant branch of your... Yeah, just need to wait. Okay, good. Good. Alright, and if you go through here... There you go. Got yourself a free shortcut to the boss of this area, which is good if you have the DLC. Um, because one of the DLC areas is pretty much accessed right after fighting this boss. I don't know if I really want to do the DLC, though. Because it would be a lot of me, like, um, not knowing anything about what I'm doing. Hold on. Let me see here. I might actually go ahead and use um the bonfire. Because I am straight out of ex uh, Estus flasks. Why can't I use a bonfire? God damn it. Oh. Um, I'm gonna see if I can uh, beat him like I am right now. Because I'm willing to bet that with Bashful Ray, I can probably get him to aggro um, the Rotten. And that'll probably be what helps me win. Okay, get him, Ray. Get him, Ray. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh shit, he's put me in the fire. <laughs> okay, he's gonna, he's gonna bomb me too. That, that's cool. I guess I shouldn't have a... Ooh. Oh, fire. I need to get myself um, a good upgraded version of the uh, Pyromancer hand. This fire ain't a bad uh, school of magic. It's actually pretty good for someone who is investing into their magic spell, or into their magic staff. Okay, 
Almost done. Come on, baby. Yes! The Rotten is down. That is the second of the big four now. That soul of the Rotten. I forgot what this soul gives us. Let's see if I can actually make it through, through the fire real quick, because I remember there being something pretty decent on the other side. Couldn't swear to it, though. But we're going to try. Fire seed. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> But, here we go! Uh, shit. Ah, damn it. Um, I should, I should be alright though. I should be fine. Be fine. Okay, there it is. There's the cave. I was wondering where I was supposed to go next. Try right. Chest front. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, let's see. Alright, petrified something, sepultured spice, and skeptic spice. Okay, so those spices, those will actually um, give you um, one off of intelligence or one off in faith of a spell or miracle that you want to do, or hex. So if you're having a little bit of a hard time actually getting... Um, a requirement for a spell, or if you just don't think it's possible at that point, just save up some spices, and you'll eventually get to them. Now this... This is the DLC portal. So if you, uh... If you got the DLC, this is how, uh, you get to at least one of them. Let's see. Quite something ahead. No shit. Forbidden path lies to the ancient king's domain. Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. With waters dry and path amiss, woeful temptation is dismissed. The city of the sunken king sleeps, as does the dragon within. I may do the DLC, but it will probably be after I get to Drangwick. So, let's go ahead and do this. We lit the bonfire. Yeah. We did it. Alright, let's return to the far fire. Sweet. Then it's two bosses down. Just stretching, don't worry. I'm not that full of myself. Alright, so let's take a look. You have acquired the soul of an old one. Two of them, in fact. That is more than most of them can oh. say. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's upgrade the Estus Flask. Now, I do not have that kind of upgrade, but I do have this. So I will at least increase the amount that the Estus Flask um, recovers. So that's good. Alright, let's get out of that, and I'll actually use my souls to upgrade a little bit. So your soul has grown. I only hope it brings you. See, let's level up. Alright, how many? Wow. I can actually level up quite a bit. Um, I think I will level up um, oh shit. Yeah, I think I'll do that for spells, and then I'll do one for um, vitality or vigor, because um, I think my health is a little bit on the low side, so I'll be good. Sweet! Alright, and... I think that's gonna wind up being it for this episode. Let's see. Actually, if I can find that one NPC that's supposed to spawn up here now that I actually... Oh, that's weird. I wonder when he's supposed to spawn up. I've never really figured that out. Like, he just kind of shows up at some point. Like, for the ladders and everything that go down. And one of them is pretty nice. Like, gives you a shortcut to a pretty decent little spot of treasure. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The next episode, we will go after... That's actually a good question. I'm not sure which of the last um, two I'm going to try to go after this time. But we'll know in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, question of the day. Um, 
Let's see. Actually, this ought to be a, um... This ought to be a, um, interesting one. And I can continue actually doing, um, these particular questions. Um, what is your favorite... Hmm. What is your favorite boss weapon from Dark Souls? I know I haven't gotten to that for some new players, but, um, to kind of explain to them, um, the souls of the bosses that we've acquired can be exchanged for, um, weapons or spells, mostly. And so, yeah, what is you guys' favorite, um, boss weapon in the entire Dark Souls series? Because I'm not sure if Dark Souls 1 did it, but I know at least 2 and 3 did, so there's enough there for you guys to kind of make a decision on that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Signing off, girl!